My name is Ali Nankeli and I'm one of the seniors at the uh, Barts and the London Dental Institute. Are there any projects you're working on currently? Uh, my main contract with the school is about teaching. And I started with the postgraduate teaching and then very soon added the undergraduate. And today I have from, although that is just a few sessions, from year one till PhD students. And because I'm involved with the PhD students, uh, automatically involved with some research projects, and also have got some new things bringing to school, something related to the digital dentistry. So let's go a little bit backwards. So okay. can we talk about where you were born? Uh, yes, I'm born in Tehran, is the capital city of Iran. Uh, do I need to say the which year as well? Yeah, no, you can say that. <laughs> um, so, what were you like in secondary school? And um, okay, so because my uh, dad he was a police officer, and he his job was in a way that I had to uh, move year by year to another city. So I went to many other different cities, um, schools that even some of them I can't remember what was the name or where was it, and some of them they don't exist anymore. So uh, that's why I had to have skills to find friends, to be with them, and for this reason I became uh, a bit, you know, involved with arts, sports, music, and of course study well because that it was the main way to attract others to become friends, <laughs> yes. So I was involved and loved all of them. Lovely. And what was your favorite hobby back in secondary school? Um, I think that uh, being strong in subjects that I had, uh, especially I loved science, core subjects like science and math, and also sport, and I can't say not music. Yeah, they, <laughs> they, they are very in a way that they, I couldn't without one. So yeah. during the day, I was with all, with all of them. Lovely. Um, so what brought you to dentistry? What made you want to become a dentist? This is very unusual. You know, that happens, and it happens very, very suddenly. So I was running a company. I was a director of a big company, and. Um, I was at that time engineer, mm -hmm. industrial engineer, wow. running a factory as well. Wow. So we had a factory family. And then I went for a business trip to the Ukraine. Mm -hmm. And when I went there, the person, because I didn't know the language, the person who was there, he was the uh, dental institute student. And he worked like an interpreter for me. And during the day, I went with him to his lectures. Yeah. And afternoon, he came for me to do the translation. And I suddenly realized I love it. And I called uh, my wife at that time. I had even my young uh, daughter. And um, I said that this is happening. And I saw that she always she uh, supported me and said that if you would like, you can start and do it. And then um, this all happened, and I said, okay, I can we do. So then, yes, in about four, six months, I was in the dental institute. Wow. Oh, okay, so that's such an interesting journey to dentistry. And you've mentioned that you went to Ukraine as well. So, of course, there's a lot going on about Ukraine in the current news. Um, what was your time like at, in Ukraine? Uh, I'm against war. Although I was in a war, yes, I was two years on on a war, and uh, we have to. So there was no any choice for that one, regardless to what you want. And for this reason, I feel uh, what the reality of what the war is. I lost my friends, I lost my condition, and I was very very lucky to be again, you know. Uh, not be able, not to disable or something. And being, living there 15 years, nearly 15 years in the Ukraine, it became like my second home after I left Iran. 
and I learned about a lot from them. And I all, always were thankful for what they did, you know, the way that they respected us, they helped us. And for this reason, I can't really ignore it. It's very painful for me. And today we do all, you know, I mean, my wife and my daughter and myself, um, any way that we, any chance we find to, to be able to help them, we are doing. But it's very sad. Thank you for sharing that experience with us. So, moving back to dentistry, um, what are any current projects you're working on or what's your next steps in dentistry? Uh, the current project that I work, there is no A, I mean that there is not one, yes? Okay. There are, one thing that I am a bit deeply involved with it is the digital dentistry. I, uh, because as a engineer, as an engineer, yes, so I started to work with similar devices uh, many years ago. I can't even remember, it was uh, 1986 or 85, and we had work, we started to work with the CNC devices and those things which today we call it 3D printer, yes, and that is very, very, you know, the milling machines. And uh, because of that, I'm a bit understand it in different ways. And digital dentistry is not just about the gadgets. It's the way that we work, it's a combination of the data in dead electronic forms. And if somebody already working you know, with, on, on the computer, that means that automatically involved with that one. So bring it to the society in the easiest way to understand what is happening and why happening. I'm helping with this procedure. I remember when the mobile phone came, and we asked people, and you know, we told that one, many people said that, no, I don't want, what, why I need a phone is just to call and speak, but now you can't really find, essentially younger generation, without any smartphone in the society. And that, I do believe, would be happen in a short time. So we help people to get that one easier and sooner that would help you know, the society to improve, improve the uh, health care services. Another thing is that to help, because I'm a teacher, is the organization that I have and created for the uh, professionals, for the students, and that is a combination of uh, UK dental courses, providing courses for the, and events for the professional, and then added the dental e-library to provide the uh, published material to be accessible, free for professionals. And then we realized that we need to help the society, so then created the online dental world, which are for people rather than professional, and create the platforms to be able to communicate uh, in its appropriate way with uh, between the people and professionals. Okay, thank you very much. Yeah. And what are your next steps in dentistry then? I don't know the next steps, you know, what I'm trying to, not going to other steps, you know, <laughs> because these ones that I say they are um, in their way, they are quite large. Lots of uh, engagements they are there. And if, we can, if I can run them right, well, that would be a right thing, yes. And uh, that is today, I can tell you, we, I look at just the Facebook, I was looking in last seven days, we had 1.2 or 3 million people, they uh, were engaged with our posts in the Facebook and Instagram. So, Focusing on that one and going higher, that is the main thing. And I think that the main reason of success is people, the, is the people that we are working together. And that's why I'm very, very thankful to them. Yeah, lovely. Um, and a final question. So as you know, dental school can be very difficult and very, very tough time in your life. Do you have any advice for our current first years? It's not tough, we make it tough. Yeah, you understand yeah. what you <laughs> make it tough, it's not tough. 
So uh, what is happening? Many students, for the year one, when they change the environment from the home come to the another environment, essentially where we are not chasing them for a study, whereas at school is different, they get the gap with their study essentially on the first step. And because this happening, then it becomes difficult to catch up. And they never ever can catch up with what left there. And that can come like a gap. And these gaps, it would show in different areas, in different places. If they do the, uh, f the, the you know, start to be focused and just study graduate, not for passing the exam, and because they want to learn. That background that they get from the foundation uh, would become a key of success for the whole five years. So this is one of the things that they are missing. And yes, as I said, again, uh, study gradually. You don't need to study one night, two nights, till morning, sit, no. Every day, one hour would be even, I think, even more than an hour, which unfortunately for many cases, I don't see it. <laughs> Thank you. And how about all current 50 years? The current 50 years, unfortunately, the 50 years that we had, they faced with the COVID. Yes. And this one we know of. Having said that, this is the last chance for them as a student to catch up with what they learn. Later on, because they get the title of the doctor and they go to the society, it would be difficult to ask others, you know, how is this one, what is that one? But now, every single of the teachers here, they would love to share their knowledge, yes? And they feel that is they already, we feel that this is our responsibility to pass this knowledge to them. So they should use this opportunity and they make uh, themselves uh, confident on what they are doing as much as possible, not leave it again to models. Yes, the point is not to put the tick on the box, to put to become a professional healthcare uh, service provider. Mm -hmm. Lovely. And do you have any final things that you want to share with us? Um, life is beautiful. Yes, that is, I always say, life is beautiful. Depends on, regardless to how you look at it, you mentioned is that this is a tough time. No, this is not the tough time. You would find that tough time never lasts. Only tough people last. In your future, you will see that always you can find something tough, yes? So enjoy your life. And uh, I personally live in future. This is my uh, personal, you know, uh, the way that I follow it. Because I said that, why should I wait for tomorrow, which may never ever come, but today is yesterday's tomorrow. So, um, be happy and do everything for in its right way and would make your life happy. That's beautiful. Thank you very much, Dr. Nankani. You're welcome. And thank thank you. you for everyone for watching. Um, please remember to like, share and subscribe to our channel. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.